guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to really just the final or just the beginning, middle, and end of my Atome Zero. BTW, it is now 8 11 in the morning. I am very, very tired. I have been up since all day yesterday, starting, well, the whole entire day of yesterday, but I have been recording since about 1 a.m. I am very, very tired. Even though it ain't on my face, I am very sleepy right now. And I this is the last thing I gotta do. And I'm trying to hurry up and get everything out for you guys on Saturday. So by the time Saturday comes, hi, how you doing? And stuff. So <laughs> yes. It's been a very busy week with me with a lot of things that are going on and everything. Family emergencies, this is that and third, everything else in between. Um so this is the only time that I was able to do this and I had to postpone stuff that are coming out between today or really, well, by the time you guys see this, anything that came out on Thursday and Friday and that'll be coming out later on today. But yes, we are technically in a way finally done. We did it, Deja, so good fucking job. I'm so fucking tired and we probably gonna go to sleep after this, but it is finally time to see my baby Akira's mom. No, all right, guys, all right, guys. Sleepy and ish. Sorry. Arika's mom and her story from her beginning to her unfortunate demise. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Now it makes me wonder um, if they're going to show Nina. Which, I mean, it makes the most sense. So, BTW, if I also yawn, I am sorry. I'm going to try not to, but of course it's going to happen. <laughs> Ain't that Sergei? Oh, damn! Did Sergei just get lit up? Poor baby. Oh. Yeah, that is him. Ow, my foot. <laughs> Bye. It is still freaking crazy to think that, like, when a freaking Atome dies, same thing with the Master. But, it, like I said, it's very similar to, like, the Fate series, and especially when, um, the partners, and, you know, they die. Hmm. I 
but unfortunately your mom will never be able to see that, but in a way she will. Hmm. Really more, it seems like these three episodes will be strictly her story featuring Arika's mom. See, I was about to think that that was the hotel that was um, buried. No, that is the hotel that they went during their training. Except they didn't stay in there. Now, those two were in the original series, right? Well, no. She is, of course, with the glasses, but... See, the question is, between these, like, well, the remaining two episodes that we do have left, are we? I mean, because, we, yeah, we saw a couple minutes of Raina fighting, but I'm ready to see her, like, in her official Maya Tomei outfit and such that her daughter wears in the damn series later on. I mean, it would be nice, but I'm guessing we're probably not going to see that until episodes two and three. Oh my god. <laughs> So, okay, one question I do have for Slip. Why can't her uncle herself, himself, come and get her and then bring her back to Winterloom? Is it because he kind of wants to, you know, be on the down low, 
make sure no one's following him, this is that and the third. If it's like that, I understand. Hmm? Is it baby Ursi? What the f- How the cat even look like Nina? What the hell? Uh, oh god, please don't fall. I mean, but we do know she is going to become one by the end of this series because, of course, she has to, you know, in a way, pursue her destiny because it is her destiny because also she will get to her untimely demise. God, she's so pretty. Because something kind of tells me if... Rena didn't deal with the situations that she had and possibly, not even possibly, did not die during, you know, the original Mayotome series and she actually got to have a relationship with her daughter, Arika. None of this mainly would happen, but still, I think at the same time, Arika would still want to become an, an Otome and she would honestly have her mother to fall back on, you know? to reclue it. What's her face is not going to be the head. Uh, ooh, I talked really loud right there. What's her face isn't going to be the headmaster. I mean, headmistress of this, of course, right? Yeah, that's someone completely. Miss Maria?
me because seriously, once again, we all know how this is going to end for her. Because we got like, we got like 13 minutes left, so we're probably going to get to like the 30 minute mark for this video. Well, for part one, I think part two and part three, we might get somewhat close. Huh. I mean, you can see how these two kind of give you the Sergei Arika vibes because it is very obvious. I just don't think, well, no, it is like, it, it's Sergei slash Arika slash Nina vibes in a way, except, you know, Nina was the one who was like the most pursuing into the relationship between her and her, you know, stepdad, even though she ain't supposed to go with that feeling for her dad. But still, homegirl was like, I'm running with it. Ooh. Yeah, but you know, you could also as well, but yeah, you just need to say yes to being an Atome. Of course. Like, okay, let me go ahead and say this. If you would have fucking told me, Sergey would, you know, have done this, been in this situation, what the fuck? I would, like, I would have looked at you like you was crazy. No, I would have never fucking thought. Never fucking thought. I'm thinking, no, this, that's not her master. Oh, okay. I mean, mmm. But think, 
But the thing is, why lie? I mean, yes, to protect. I get that. Do you really think that's going to hold her? Come on. I mean, honestly, she's really, really, really too mother effing OP. Like, mm. Like, we all know, yeah, Arika is OP, but <laughs> the OP came from mom. Mom was the most OP at her time. Well, damn, she's coming back into this? Oh, it got cold in here again. I mean, hold up. This is a damn AI going against a regular old human. And this girl going toe to toe with her and can match her. What the? Bruh. I can't. You know, I mean, because, like, this series is crazy. But, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, because honestly, that's not the one she needs. She needs the blue sapphire. But you don't know what she about to do. Oh.
Bruh, th th this is... What the fuck is going on? This is the previous Maya Tomei OVA when freaking Machido got kidnapped and freaking Arika had to spend two other episodes looking for this girl. God, it is cold in here. I'm going to turn that air up when I'm done recording this first part. Okay. 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 Hold up. Just hold everything. Alright, so something tells me by the end of this three episodes, Elliot will be dead. Not only will Rena be dead, Elliot will be dead. Because it's seen, I'm guessing maybe almost everybody in this picture right now, except... Sylph and um, so yeah, okay. they're gonna be the only two who are still gonna be alive after this. Maybe that no, that's a that's a woman, so she's gotta be dead. But I I was not expecting Rena to get kidnapped in the first episode, but of course it seems like we're going about with the other OVA for Maya Tome with Macho, like I said, where she gets kidnapped for a total of three episodes, and these two finally meet back up in the final episode. When officially Rena officially gets her blue sapphire power and such. And then, you know, girl is badass and fuck. And then several years later, her daughter comes down. And she's just way more OP than her daughter. I mean, her mother. <laughs> I am so sleepy. I can't. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I really enjoyed this first episode. I mean, it had some laughs. Like, once again, with the fan service, I'm like, mm -hmm it's there it was cute but uh even though your girl likes a lot of yuri yuri and yaoi animes because i mean just the feels that they, they gave me and you know like hey this is exactly what a relationship should be like and that they should be very commutative and it should be very 50 50 because sometimes a lot of my favorite heterosexual couples, that means real life and anime and everything else in between, sometimes don't really have that and, and it really sucks. So sometimes you have to go out and look up, oh, there's one surface! Oh, oh, she's gonna be in the other episode! Oh, nice! So yeah, sometimes you gotta go out and just, you know, find other couples to be like, damn, you are my ship. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah, it was interesting. Um,. I kind of hope that they don't stretch out that it is going to take the final episode for Rena. Oh, Miss Maria! To get Rena. I mean, not Rena. No. To get Sylph. It's a little messed up, but something kind of tells me we're, we're going that route. We really, truly are. And now she has a blue sapphire and earring. Oh. I just say earring in her ear. Like I said, I, I'm sorry. I'm sleepy and I'm excited and such. But let me go turn the air down or up because I am freezing. I literally just sat here another, a previous hour and 30 minutes with Bakuman and I had a blanket on and I was freezing cold and now I was hot and now I'm cold again. But yeah, let me go do that. And when I get back, we will go ahead and continue with episode two. All right, episode two and three, two, one. Damn, she got pushed all the way far. Like, she got pushed in the way, way back. Oh. Now, that had to be Rena, right? Yeah.
humanatomy. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that kind of obvious, hon? Oh, that's a lie. See, look at the smirk. A lie. Come on now. For baby. baby yeah and hopefully find Rena along the way
She'll be fine. She can take care of herself. She's just not going to probably come up until, like, the last maybe, like, good four or five minutes of this episode, concluding into the final episode. Y'all couldn't get her some clothes. (laughs) Oh, Like mother, like daughter, I guess, you know. Is it Tomoe? I mean, you know, the haircut ain't the same, but it kind of is, especially if you take out that, like, little back piece right there. Just anything that Rena says, like, truly 100% Arika. Could you just know if her mom was alive, she would just be so proud of her. She'd be all proud mommy and be like, oh, but the fact that those two had to meet like that in the original series is still sad because 
meeting your mom one minute and then having to kill her the next is so freaking devastating. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Should be getting rid of rain soon. Oh, bless you. She has to go after it. Mm -mm. You have no gem. What can you do? That feels good. I'm sorry. Uh, cold water on a hand and then put that on your thigh. Ah, uh, feels so good. I know I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird and I'm sleepy as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she looks like that, but no.
Well, I get them wings yet. Yeah, tell her about that. Yeah, but the question is, is uh, Bruce and them also going to make it up? Well, no, he's there too. So, <laughs> hopefully this is when finally Rena becomes the most OP, most badass, bad bitch Otome by the end of this episode.
but why? I understand why. I mean, for her safety, but still, like, come on now. Do we not know, like, what happens when someone keeps secrets from somebody else? Someone gets upset. Hell, somebody even gets killed. Do we want that with this three episodic series? Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough time. You gotta wait a couple more minutes. The fact that only M9 and, and Rena are able to do that, because it seems like... Because, uh, yeah, 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 she does. M9 absorbs people's abilities, just like What's-Her-Face did in the Maya Tome OVA, which is still technically her in a way, but it was like a more robotic as parasite version of an Atome. Excuse me. You're not going to end it right. Why would you end it right there? There's like literally two minutes left. You could have added something else and then the credits. The fact that Rena came into the last two minutes of the episode. Oh my god. Girl. 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 This is your one little shot. But of course. It is time. But the fact is that, you know, she found out about her uncle being her father. And this is that and the third. For herself, I feel bad for her baby. Like, she feels like her whole life is a lie. Strictly say, like, her and Nina are very, very similar with that. Like, with Nina finding, well, yeah, the Nina and the princess situation. Because I still can't believe that girl was the princess. I mean, because I won't go back and, you know, kind of look up some things. Because bruh because the whole entire time i was like arika it's fairly obvious arika and then everyone's like no it's nina and I'm like what are you serious but yes like oh this is the final episode i mean okay so i'm gonna say this now between the two episodes we watched both were very good but like I said, as I said in the part one, this is very similar to the OVA that I saw two weeks ago. And how it's just with the themes and everything, you can just really see. There is no, like, com there's more of a compare than contrast. There are some things that are a little bit different, only because of the fact is this takes place in the past and... The other Mayotome OVAs are in the future, and this is that in the third. But, I mean, it is good. I like the fact that we get to see characters that, you know, unfortunately, because of certain reasons, we didn't get to see them in the original show. So, it's nice to see 
them have their time to shine, even though at the same time you're like, girl, dang, I wish some of these characters were still alive when the original Maya Tomei series came out, but you don't know, you, you, you can't always get that, unfortunately. Okay, I really have nothing else to add on to this. I mean, really, as I said during the credits and everything else, truly, that is what I really feel at this time. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys for the final part. Okay, final part in three, two, one, go. they had a rocket with a rocket. Is that a space date? Let me check something real quick. Alexa, how long will it be raining for? It's raining right now, with a break in about 15 minutes. Okay.
too giant. Damn, hon. Why does it always have to be so cold at 9 in the morning? This is so cute. See, okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and ask this real quick. So, because technically, I already know the answer, but okay. So you see how, like, she just was able to, you know, summon a damn freaking sword. 
why couldn't Arika do, it, do that? I mean, because it, it seems like I'm guessing the blue sapphire works differently for each user that gets it. Same thing with, like, any other... Excuse me. Any other <clears throat> type of gem any of these girls get. So whatever someone else currently has now, the newest version or person who is the newer version of that gem, whoever, is not going to have the same abilities as a previous one, right? Because hers is at a 1, and by the time Arika uses the blue gem, it's already at a 3. So that's not only Arika's powers herself, but that's also her mother's powers. Damn, she she just like hold up. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Mm. You did your best though. You're only doing that to keep her safe, though. You did good, boo. Damn. Oh. <clears throat> 
That's so messed up. But you know she can control them. Unfortunately. Yeah, but in the end, she's not going to stop, though. But damn. <laughs> oh, God. She's too fast for him.
What's that complaining about? Oh. But now, it's your room. Aww. I still messed up. But she did good. <laughs> this was cute. I, I really thought this was cute. To just see a little bit of Rena before the beginning series. I mean, it was nice. It felt kind of bittersweet in a way because of the fact is, of, like I said, the Rena situation and a couple of other things. But still, I really truly enjoyed this. I thought this was an interesting series. I think if I had to watch this first, I probably would appreciate it a little bit more. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. I, I mean, it was different. Some things I liked about it and some things I didn't. But yeah, it was a really interesting series. And now I, all I feel is sadness because we're officially done with Maya Tome. And by the time that this does come out on Saturday, um, 
after that, we'll be starting a new series, which will also be coming out on Saturday early for the person who requested this and the um, well, requested the show. And then the following week, the other Patreons will get it. And then after that, everybody else will get it. And yeah, I like I said, personally really enjoyed this. I, I really do kind of wish there was more, even though I know there's another um, Mayatome series, but that's My Hime. But the person who requested the Mayatome series, in their opinion, they felt like the Hime series didn't really um, have little to little to none to have to do with Atome. So they kind of told me, don't react to it. But I might watch it on my own just to see the differences. Or I might just watch a video if somebody has a video on the My Hime series just to be like, okay, this is all what happened and such. But it was nice. I really kind of hope that we do get to see Rena in like a fuller type series rather than a three episodic series because of course I get it because it's just like an extra episode in the series but it seems like I think possibly maybe this was also its own quote unquote spinoff or first spinoff and then officially the 20 something episodes for he may but you know who knows but I really personally enjoyed this. This was a very overall looking at the whole entirety of a Maya of the Maya Atome series. It was very enjoyable. I, I think I laughed, I cried, I was like, what the heck is going on? I like many, many things came and many emotions came, but it's just it's very, very like satisfying to finally reach a conclusion on this and to know that okay, it's not a it, it's not a quote unquote goodbye it's more of like a see you later or see you next time or whatever but yeah I really personally enjoyed this a lot I loved learning about these characters the lore the world building everything um the good and bad that happened between you know Arika, Mashido, Nina, Ursi and everyone else in these three different series of this show and honestly yeah I will miss it but other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards the three episodes of Maya Tome Zero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday. I don't know. No. Mm -mm, not next Tuesday. <laughs> um, I, you will actually see me on the following Monday um, after the last episode of Yes, Pretty Cure 5 comes out. After that, you will see me on the following Monday for the next show that this Patreon um, requested. And then, yeah, you'll either see me for anything else that is currently coming out every other day in the week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Also, one more thing, BTW. We are finally done. I will, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this. <laughs> I will never, ever do this again. It took me nine hours from one o'clock in the morning to now 9.43 a.m., almost 10 o'clock in the morning. I am tired as hell. I am probably about to go to sleep, but I'm going to edit something first. I'm, I'm going to try to stay awake as much as I can, but something kind of also tells me I'm going to go to bed. But I will see you guys all next time. You guys all have a good day, and yeah.